Come on, trouble. Oh, am I a gnome? Put it away. I'm messaging Scarlet. Well, you're going to see her in ten minutes in the flesh. You get to talk to her and everything like people used to do. Weird. Hiya. How's Leah? Dunno. I have to ask her. I suppose you were up early this morning, eh? No. I was out late. Not that it's any of your business. What are you doing? I'm wafting. Wafting? If anything's gonna get him down them stairs, it's the smell of fresh cut bacon. You what? I know my Kirky, and the way to his heart is through his stomach. Oh, it won't be through his arteries if you get that lot. <laughs> but he's already gone. What? He left about ten minutes ago. Went straight out the bathroom, down the stairs, and out. <sighs> but I was in the kitchen. I must have missed him. <sighs> As if today couldn't get any worse. Why, what's happened now? <sighs> Craigie came for the rest of his stuff. He's even took Daryl. It was her who told me to call you Daryl. After me dad. She thought it was funny. But it wasn't. He's not a rat. I don't know what he is, because she never gave me the chance to find out. Stay one more night, but he'll have to move on. Where to? Well, I don't know. He can go in a B and B. What are the wages I pay him? You don't want him on the street. Well, look, he's got a perfectly good home over the road. Well, he's got a roof over his head. You know, I can't believe I've allowed a rat into my house. You might, Kev. Look, I don't like rats either. But it's not like it's sitting on the sofa reading the paper, is it? It's in the conservatory, locked up in a cage. I can't chuck him out, Sally. Me, me. Morning, pal. All right. Oh, that's good, Craig. Isn't it? Can't remember the last time I came down and my breakfast was on the table. No, neither can I. Are you forgotten glasses for the orange juice? Oh, I'll get them. Oh, no. No, um, I'll get them. You stay where you are. You've done oh. enough. Ah! 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 What's up? I stubbed my toe, so... Ah! Ah! Glasses! Oh, glasses, yeah. Glasses. Ah, fresh. Uh, that'll fresh. Be... Yeah, fresh. Fresh? Yeah, these are just being washed. Oh, looky what the cat dragged in. Last night's clothes, perchance? Better than last year's. It was a big night, was it, Sean? Yeah, it was, actually. Yeah. Had a really great time, thanks. Really? Yes, I did thank you. You know, I'm getting on with my life, if that's all right with you. I mean, it's been two months. Is that long enough period of mourning for you? Look, oh, Billy, just ignore him, you know? I'm, I'm glad to see him back in the saddle. Not you? Yeah, of course. Hmm? Oh, I'm happy for him. I'm even happier that we're together. Mm. You satisfied? Mm. Yeah, nearly. Oh, get a room, will you? <coughs> See you later. See ya. How are you doing? I'm going to school, so you've not missed any cartwheels. You my bother? Nothing. Headmaster's talking to Lauren, so hopefully everything will be sorted. That's great news. You have breakfast? Poached eggs on toast, and it was lovely. What is in your lunchbox? Yes. All right, stop worrying. Uh, you're a valued client. I just want to make sure you're all right. See you. Gary? Yeah? Thank you. I can't take you call right now, but you can leave a message after the tone. Nick, it's me again. Please, I, I don't care where you've been. Just, just let me know you're all right. Just send me a text or anything. Please, I'm really worried about you. Oi! Oi, oi, oi! What are you doing? I'm going over Niagara Falls in a barrel. What's it look like I'm doing? Stop it. Immediately. You can't be bending, lifting. Hi. Hi, Nick. Can I borrow your husband? Yeah, by all means. Shan't be charging interest, that's for sure. So, got a bit of business we need to attend to. Be straight delivery service. <laughs> Of course, yeah. Right. Got a corporate client. Needs delivery estimate times. Based in Bramall. Eh. Well, Bramall's a bit... No, no, no. Got to do the dry run together. This project's our baby, isn't it? Far too important for guesswork. I'm going to need to know exactly what I'm dealing with. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. All right, bye. 
you know, the post gets later and later. Mm. I swear I'll find a penny black on one of these ones. I must admit, though, I did feel safer last night having Kaz around. Kaz? Mm. Well, she had nowhere else to go and... I don't know, I just felt guilty about putting her out on the street. Oh, Maria, she put herself out on the street. And if it's security you're worried about, you're better off sticking with us. Uh... Oh! <laughs> What was it? Oh, my good! We've made it to the finals of the Greater Manchester Stylist Awards. Kitty! Their small salon. Look, it's there in oh, black right. and white. It's on Friday. Crikey. Do you know, I, I forgot we'd even entered this. Oh, with everything that's happened, so would I. Oh, dear. Happen we could do with some cheering up. Are you free, Friday? Oh, yeah, I am now. <laughs> <laughs> right. Can I get you anything else? A little bit of sweet, perhaps? Nah, she's sweet enough. No, oh, you are a charmer. Mm, it's cos he's paying, but no, thank you, we're fine. <laughs> You're full of the joys. Smile. Here's your day off. Well, smiling's the last thing I feel like doing. Why was Nick out all last night? There is no way he'd have left Leanne if she was ill like she said she was. I think you're better off staying out of it. It's none of our business. I just... I can't stop thinking about what he said when I told him Leanne was pregnant. Well, they cleared that up. Yeah, covered it up more like. She's clearly got herself into a mess. Hermes. Look, babe, you might stop me from helping Maria, but you're not going to stop me from helping my own sister, OK? She just needs to open up. Let me know what's happening. Oh, and they say the art of conversation's dead. Sorry, I'm just sorting something out. Something good? It will be if I've anything to do with it. Uh, you'll be all right for grabbing early, Dad. Um, is that a request or a statement of fact? I'd say it's more a rhetorical question, actually. Right. Well, you know, it is normal to offer your employees some sort of excuse mm. when you're leaving them in the lurch. Mm. Is it a medical emergency? Oh, yeah, it is, actually. Listen, I've taken your advice about getting a room. I booked uh, me and Billy a room at the Malmesbury Hotel. Ooh, the Malmesbury. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm paying you way too much. Yeah, right. So, can I go or not? Yes, because you have been an absolute nightmare since you became a born-again virgin. You know, maybe this will stop you deadheading the punters. Yeah, cheers, Trace. Listen, can I get the morning off as well? Please. Oh, go on then. Mwah. You know, if you're going to do it and get it out of your system, you might as well do it properly. Mm hmm. <laughs> They're not in. Oh, hi, Gail. How are you feeling? Yeah, better, thanks. Uh, I was just wondering, have you seen Nick? This morning? Uh, since last night. No, why hasn't he been home? No, um, so he's not been in touch then? No, he hasn't. What's wrong, Liam? Oh, nothing, no, he's nothing serious. He's probably just kept at the bistro work. It's been a bit hectic. He lives round the corner. And he wouldn't leave you on your own if you were ill. If you were ill. Something's not right here. Gail, I've already said it's nothing, nothing serious, all right? Leanne, tell me, I have a right to know. Leanne, you OK? What was that about? Oh, not now, eh? It's all right. I think I've guessed it anyway. What? You and Nick have had a bus stop. I think I know why. You're not sure he's the dad, are you? Oh, and what would that make me? Human. I'm not trying to judge you. I'm your sister, I want to help. Yeah, well, if you want to help, just back off, all right? Back off. Lee! Mum's calling. Not gonna answer it, that'd be important. Well, this is a strange way to grow up. What's going on? You tell me. Well, I don't know, you dragged us out here. I can't see anybody around here wanting a gourmet takeaway. I thought you'd have the mouse today when the game's out. What game? Look, Nick, can we please go home? I've got a lot to do. <laughs> you must have rubbed your hands raw when Leanne made her little announcement in the pub. Sound of the penny dropping, is it? Look, Nick, I didn't mean for you to get involved. I didn't know you were going to put your hand up. I didn't ask you to. Yeah, but you were chuffed when I did, weren't you? Got you off the hook. That was then. And this is now. Come on. Let's go for a walk. <laughs> Listen, if I could turn back the clock, I would, I swear. It was a terrible mistake. That happened to you a lot? <sighs> Tell me. 
Because I can't be sure that one wouldn't happen again. Because it meant nothing to either of us. I meant to take comfort in that. Nick, she was confused. She was drunk. She did something stupid. I mean, has that never happened to you? Have you never fell into bed with somebody and then regretted it? Yeah, I'm not talking about me. Well, we are, though, aren't we? Because it's not just your future you're going to mess up as well as mine. Listen, Leanne loves you and I love my wife and that is all that's important right now. Can't we just move on? With me bringing up your kid? <sighs> Look, no one was more surprised when you said you were the dad. And yeah, I'll admit, I was pleased. But not just for me, you know, for Leanne and the baby and... and you. It's very touching, Steve. But for all you knew, I thought the baby was mine. You were happy with that. You were happy for me to clean up your mess. This was between you and Leanne, Nick. I mean, what was I supposed to do, yeah? I mean, ring the bell? Let everybody know? I can't let this come out ever, Nick. I want to be with Michelle and I'll do anything to hold on to her. Well, we'll see, won't we? Well, you look like you've just fished a corn plaster out of that. It's fine. It's not on grey. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear about Craig. Oh, news travels fast. Yeah, Sally was going on about it earlier. Don't even mention her. Well, I shouldn't abandon hope just yet. I've been in your shoes. I doubt that. No, you'd be surprised. Uh, Ryan moved into Sally's once after we'd had a Barney. Oh, yeah. I remember now. She's like the flaming child catcher. <laughs> well, don't worry, she soon got fed up with him. She actually arranged a summit. We even had a talking stick. Talking stick? Mm. Well, actually, it was a pepper mill in the shape of a Siamese cattle. The point is, Ryan came home eventually, and so will Craig. Don't feel a bit funny about it. No. No, I want Sean to move on. Find happiness, you know, but you don't always find it kicking out time on Canal Street. Mm. Mm. Someone's busy. Um, I told you, I've got an afternoon off. Well, near as ever get. Yeah, don't worry, I hadn't forgotten. That's why I've arranged a little surprise. Oh? Surprise? Mm -hmm. Why don't I like the sound <laughs> of that? <laughs> well, we're not going to be bungee jumping off Beetham Town, but you are going to love it. Oh, I can be the judge of that. Come on, tell me. The human colander, no oh. chance. <laughs> right, come on, let's go. Let's go. Right. Down it, down it. <laughs> See right. you. Bye. 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 Leave that, I'm not finished. Oh, right. And would you like me to fetch you an ice pick? Depends whether you're going to leave me in peace or not. Hey, yeah. What are you up to? Job hunting. Ooh, can you die? Nope. I've emailed a couple of companies, sent them my CV, and it's all just pinged back, like, thanks, but no thanks. Mm. But it's still early days yet, isn't it? <sighs> Maybe, but you'd think after four years in the army, people would be biting me hand off. Guess there's not much call for train killers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad you find it funny. I don't know. I was only trying to cheer you up. Oh, forget it. Kaz! We're not having dinner at school. Why do you think? Thought she'd laid off, you know. Yeah, no, I know why. They've asked me to go to a meeting at school tomorrow with the headmaster and Lauren and her mum. And that's a good thing, surely. You and your mum can tell her what's been going on. I'm not taking mum. She needs to know what's happening. But she's not long got out of hospital. The last thing she needs is me worrying her as well. Will you come? No, she's mum's place now. You can put this aggro to bed for good. What, you think that Lauren's just going to roll over and admit everything? No. No. She's going to tell them that I gave her a slap the other week and then I'm going to look like the guilty one. Your teachers are stupid. They know what you like and they'll realise Lauren must have done something, yeah? But you'll need support, someone to fight your corner. You need your mum. So this marriage means everything to you? Yeah. Told you. So what makes this different from the other four, five, plus count? Well, don't you think I've learned a few things along the way? Frankly, the evidence suggests otherwise. Me and Michelle are for keeps. I've been through a lot this last couple of years, Nick, and Michelle has stuck by me every step of the way. So you thank her by sleeping with Leanne? 
a very special kind of gratitude, Steve. Yeah, and I'm ashamed of it. I've never been more ashamed of anything. Look, all I want to do is make it up to Michelle. All I want to do is make her happy. Face it, Steve. It's going to happen again. You just can't help yourself. Well, maybe just that once, but... Oh, no... stop it! Stop it! Stop with the dribble! Have you not got any pride? What do you want from me? The truth. This is the truth. I love Michelle. OK, nothing you've said has made me believe this marriage won't go the way of all the rest. And then what happens? I came lucky on my door. We want a bit of family time. <sighs> Look, that is never going to happen. This isn't like any of my other marriages, Nick. Leanne isn't the only one carrying my child. Michelle is pregnant as well. So now do you understand why I can't let this out? I can't let her down again, Nick. There's too much at stake. Does that phone have a nicker stitching up? Uh, no. Then put it away. It's bad enough Sean's gone AWOL without you being on a go slow. I'm having a bit of trouble at home. Oh, my God, You what? Well, your troubles aren't at home, are they? They're snoring in my spare room. Yeah, and that's where they better stay and all. Cos if you lay a finger on my Craigie, there'll be hell to pay. Hey, girls. I've got your number, counsellor. You ought to be ashamed. Luring young lads into your front parlour. Leave it, Auntie Beth. How dare you? Now, can you do this on your own time, ladies? If you want to be a cougar, find yourself another victim, cos you're not getting your claws into my son. Well, he's not said what he's got planned. Mm, sounds exciting. Well, yeah, knowing Todd's track record. Might have stayed about if it was Billy. Mm. Oh, I think they make a nice couple. I don't think that opinion's universal. All right, what have you got against him? Me? No. Sean don't look right happy. Sean? Yeah, he just came out of the bog then when you were waxing lyrical. He went back in, I'm surprised he's not thrown up the face on him. Come out the back. I'll go and get him. Hi. Uh, you haven't seen Nick, have you? Not me. Yeah, he popped round this morning, actually. Said he needed Steve to help him suss out the delivery route in Bramall, you know, for this takeaway service. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, do you know how long they've been gone? Well, longer than it takes to get to Bramall and back, so... Uh, and I can't get hold of Steve either. Odds are they're probably in a beer garden somewhere, aren't they? Yeah, right, thanks. Uh, where are you off to? Oh, uh, listen, if they can disappear on a jolly, then me and you can put our feet up and all, can't we? I'll get Liz to mind the butter. I'd like to see how pregnancy's treating you. <laughs> oh, hello. Um, yes, I've got a room booked with you this evening. The, the name's Grimshaw, G-R-I-M. Yes, yes, that's the one. <laughs> a premier double. Yes, it, it, yes, indeed. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to cancel the room, I'm afraid. Yeah, I'm sorry it's so late in the day and all that, but, um, but yeah, I'm going to have to cancel the booking. Sorry to let you down. All right, then. OK, OK, thank you, bye. Look, this baby is a light at the end of the tunnel for me and Michelle. This could be a new start for us. Will it really? <sighs> Look, I know it sounds convenient, I know it sounds like a bit of a coincidence, but I'm telling you, Nick, it is the truth. Do you know what I believe you? I believe it of you. Not only you, I mean, it's comical, isn't it? Well, I'm not laughing. Nor was I. Then when Leanne told me. Leanne told you? Yeah. Look at you. It's a bit of a shock, isn't it, when people are honest? However belated. Look, I know I lie a lot in my life, you know, a hell of a lot, but this is the God's honest truth, Nick. All I want to be is a good father to my kid. Which one? Oh, you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I think better than you. But you've answered the most important question. Oh, Nick. I'm not going to come anywhere near Leanne's baby. Really? Really? You're going to pass it on the street? You're going to watch it grow up, all those big milestones, and you're going to take no interest. No. Telling me what I want to hear, Steve, I don't buy it. Well, you've got to. I don't have to do anything. If I choose to stay with Leanne, and if 
I choose to bring up this baby, and that is a big if. We're gonna have to come to an arrangement. Well, I'll do anything. All right. I'm not even gonna consider bringing up this child with you over the road, so I'm gonna need you and Michelle to sell up and move on. Then I'll make a decision. What? Yeah, not a different country. Just a hundred mile radius. This is my life. This is my family. This is my friends. This is my business. Okay. So I guess it boils down to what do you love most? Those things or your wife? <gasps> this is insane. What are you doing? This, my little over fertile friend, is a little text. To Michelle. Steve knocked up Leanne. Okay, it's not very poetic, but uh, I think I'm in the right ballpark tone wise. What do you reckon? Well, you're going to order a gun to my head. Uh, technically, it's a smartphone, but that's the long and short of it. So, what's it going to be? Tracy has Amy. I can't just leave my daughter. That's meant to make me change my mind. You're making it worse. What am I supposed to tell everybody? Oh, you said you're an expert liar. So either explain this or explain that. Look, I can't just go. I mean, the business won't just sell like that. Okay, get someone else to run it. I want you gone. Yes or no? Nick, please, look. This is my own. This is everything I've got. Everything you had. Coronation Street continues in half an hour.